500 miles south of Ihaluit is a small settlement of only 600 people. Yet it's the home of the region's first trace metal analytical laboratory. This is where biologists, using highly sophisticated instruments, study nearly 1,000 animal specimens each year. Incredibly, they show rising levels of the world's most hazardous chemicals, DDT, PCBs, dioxins, and mercury. Michael Kwan is the lab's chief toxicologist. Mercury levels in the Arctic environment in general is, uh, is increasing. And um, so it is very important for us to closely monitor anything that people eat, fish, marine mammals, caribou, anything that's uh, consumed by uh, local Inuits. But where do these chemicals come from? And how did they get here? In a phenomenon scientists call the grasshopper effect, toxic pollutants released thousands of miles to the south evaporate in the warm climate, then ride the winds until they reach the cold air of the Arctic, where they eventually fall to the earth. It doesn't take long for the caribou to feed upon the tainted moss and shrubs of the tundra. And in the sea, fish feed upon toxic plankton, which are then eaten by seals and polar bears. Polar bears are showing up with levels in their fat of certain toxic pollutants that would qualify them for burial in a hazardous waste site. Now, those polar bears don't work in factories, but what they do is they're at the top of the food chain, right now full of a lot of hazardous materials. This is clearly a cause for concern. Polar bears are not the only ones at the top of the food chain. <laughs> 